You can have one billion dollars but you can never get drunk or high again. Are you interested why or why not? Obviously yes. Bring it down to 100k or something and then you might get some interesting answers. A billion dollars is ridiculous. Nothing I won't do for that kind of money. The number is always too high. I used to have a co-worker that would ask question like, Would you suck a duck for a billion dollars? He would be surprised when I said absolutely. Absolutely. Besides, there are plenty of other vices available to someone with a billion dollars. Edit. Wow. That blew up. And the implications got dark really quickly. I just wanted to state, for the record, that my vices would be in the realm of a crippling Fabergé egg addiction. Posting ridiculously expensive food pics to Instagram. Buying the loyalty of spineless politicians. And sponsoring the construction of a long-range space probe for the sole purpose of recrilling other space civilizations. But I'm still not going to buy a PS5 from a scalper. A 10 grand hooker every night and you're probably not even breaking through the interest. When you say you can never get drunk or high again does that mean I'm impervious to drugs and alcohol? Or am I not allowed to try? Either way yes. But I'm curious. I was thinking the same thing. You could get a fortune and a superpower. It'd pay you $1000 if you can make me unable to get drunk. Nortrek soon? Why are these dumbest questions suddenly so popular? Would you like 1 billion dollars but you can never eat fries on a Sunday again? Yes no, of course. This isn't even a question. In a heartbeat, a billion dollars and you're forced to get clean. What moron would do anything else? All the people like I don't drink or smoke anyway like trust me bro even if you did this would still be a no brainer. Anyone legitimately saying no is just stupid. The reason I get drunk and high is to treat the symptoms of poverty in the first place. Frick yeah. If you honestly have to think about it in terms of recreational inebriation, you might have a problem. Though if you think about non-recreational being high, I won't want to go through surgery, advanced dentistry, or die of cancer without painkillers. Now that's the kind of critical thought we pay you for. I don't get drunk or high anyway. So frick yes. Yeah my first thought was you mean just live my life? Sold? Not interested. I'm already a multimillionaire who has more money than I can reasonably spend on myself. I don't like alcohol, but I do like to take CBD daily and cannabis a few times per year. I don't think it would be worth it to give that up in exchange for receiving even more money that I can't reasonably spend on myself. Hey it me your brother. But to get high on life at that point, I guess hookers are my new vice. Could probably get a pretty high class hooker for a billion bucks. As a former addict alcoholic. Yes, I've been clean now for 2 years and 5 months. This would just be a bonus. Basically get a billion dollars for doing what I'm already doing. Congrats on sobriety my guy. What kind of question is this? A dumb one. I would take the money and then spend like ungodly amounts of money on a legal team to immediately void that part of the contract. Your honor. The wording is too ambiguous. While being inebriated or intoxicated can be referred to as being drunk or high. The definitions errant made clear in the contract. As such, my client took drunk to mean another human putting them in a giant blender and then drinking them. Define drunk. Drunk. It'll show you drunk. I fail to see the problem. These questions are so stupid. Who will not live in a bathroom at a concert for 48 hours if it gave them 1 billion dollars? You know there's a significant amount of people who don't drink and do drugs. It's suspect OP may have a serious addiction to alcohol and or drugs. I bet there are people out there who legit won't give up for a billion dollars or anything else this world can offer them. The addiction rules supreme over every other desire. It can be that strong. Why is this post being upvoted that much though? You guys are getting paid? Honestly not really interested in living with a ton of money if I can't get buzzed or high. I would need to be incredibly selfless with the cash or else I would just feel like it's a waste. Like other than a property and enough to survive I won't really spend it on anything other than a couple toys. I smoke weed in say medicinally and I've gained great perspective from psychedelics. Like IDK. A big boat won't be fun if you didn't have parties on it. Having a drink with locals is always a fun thing when traveling. Heck a nice meal is better with a tasty beverage. Going for a nice drink is an experience. I don't think it's ridiculous to say it won't be as enjoyable without. I'm not talking about being fricked up all the time. I'm in total agreement with what you're saying here. Honestly surprised this is one answer against many hell yes answers. 
to those saying Patman 007 has a problem. Ah uh, it's hard. Because what else would I do with a billion dollars? S. Yeah no shoot. Don't offer 1 billion dollars. Offer like 100k or 500k. Hell even a million you are getting interesting answers. 1 billion you are going to heck nothing but a bunch of hell yes. No way in hell. My doctor gave me a choice almost a year ago. My brain doesn't release dopamine on its own. So I can continue living as an addict with a safe supply prescription of hydromorphone. But with being happy. Sleeping properly. Not being paranoid or suicidal. Etc. Or I can get sober and live with the depression. Paranoia. So on so forth. I chose the safe supply prescription and I never knew it was possible to be this happy. There is no amount of money I would trade that for. Someone needs to learn how to have fun without mood enhancers. Buddy. If you're bored sober. You're just boring. This post was made by someone between 1624. So I just need to live my normal. Daily. Boring life. Nothing else. Easy money. Interested? Sure. But I hope I wouldn't actually do it. If I think about all the people I've known in my life. The people I've shared drinks with. The people I've gotten high with have made a lot more positive difference in my life than the rich people I've known. Yeah these people are nuts. Give away some of the greatest pleasures on this god awful planet for money. It's a freaking billion dollars. I can find other things to enjoy. Yeah frick it. I mean that would suck but. It's a billion dollars. So. Number. Because frick you that's why. Number. I know it's all the money in the world but getting high and climbing a mountain is pretty cool. Yeah I mean I don't do any of those things anyway so all good. Easy. Tobacco enters the chat. You can get a nicotine high. Sure. I mean. I like doing those things occasionally. But I'd have no hesitation giving them up for enough money to do whatever else I want as often as I want to do it. I have never been drunk or high in my 43 years of life. Show me the money. Number. I don't come from money. So all of a sudden I am rich. When I lose it all trying to please everyone. When everyone hates me for not giving them more money. When I can no longer tell who truly loves me and who is just interested in my money. When people keep suing me for no reason I am going to want to have the ability to get shoot faced. I don't drink or get high now. So win for me. Don't drink. Don't smoke. Freaking easy. Keep your damn money. Is it weird that I want to get drunk right now without an incentive? Probably but I would have to think about it surprisingly. I always said there's nothing I won't do for a million dollars but never doing drugs or alcohol again might be the one thing I won't. No thanks. I don't do that anyway. Hand it over. Billion dollars. Yes. Wait so you're saying I'd have to try and enjoy life completely sober and look for meaningful, purposeful reasons to live? For a billion dollars? No sick. Never been either. And being a billionaire sounds way better. Not interested. Frick no. Give up every single thing. Including caffeine which I won't be happy about. For booze. I'm Scottish. And I love me some beer whiskey wine whatever. Even if you pigeonholed me into particular type of booze. I prefer rippers or bourbon but for that type of money I guess I could make a sacrifice. Sober people are cunts and boring. I use cannabis medically. Couldn't survive without it. So no. OP does specify that you can consume drugs for medicinal purposes so as long as it's just medicine you should still qualify. Yes. I drink to self-medicate after a stressful day. If I didn't have to work. I can use my time for healthier pursuits. A billion dollars with a B of course I am and if you aren't taking it you're freaking crazy. Hell yes. Give me a billion dollars and I'll get high fixing shoot. No more homeless vets. The children in Flint. Michigan would get fresh water, buy a restaurant and let everyone who's hungry eat for free. Jokes on you. I'm Muslim. Genetic alcoholism is rampant in my family. So just best to avoid that anyway. And seeing what getting high has done to my junkie brother. I don't have any interest in that either. So it's a total win situation for me. It'd take $10. Never been high or drunk in my whole life. Turning 30. No point in starting now. No alcohol helps me escape the pain that a billion dollars would just make worse. Absolutely. Since I neither drink nor smoke. I don't drink or smoke very often. And I never do it to get drunk or high. I will take a free billion thank you very much. What would I spend the money on then? Pass. This would be easy for me. Of course. I don't drink or get high. Gimme the one billion dollar. Sure. 
Already plan on staying sober. I already actively avoid things that could get me high or drunk. You get to live a healthy life plus a billion dollars. Stupid question lol. Considering I've never done either one then sure. My first million will be spent eradicating people that ask the 19 million different variations of this stupid freaking question off the internet. I am already doing that for free.